Hey, good afternoon everybody. This is John from Volkswagen Planet coming to you from a nice 86 degree uh, day here in Tampa, Florida. And I wanted to make this video to show you just how things are down here in the uh, Tampa Bay area. Usually on a day like this, it is uh, screaming cars going behind uh, the bugs there that you see. Uh, you're going to hear one car going down the street right now. And uh, that would just be non-stop. But today is probably the busiest day it has ever been in probably the last two weeks. I mean, there's even a barking dog in the back. But that's not the uh, reason why I made this video. During the uh, COVID-19, a lot of us have experienced a lot of, uh, I would say, not so pleasant moments in the last couple weeks, either being laid off of work, maybe even being furloughed, you know, without pay or without your benefits from work. It could be real scary times. So the government has stepped in and has given us, well, most of all of us taxpayers and uh, legalized citizens of the United States, a stimulus check. Now I want to say, you know, we're all adults here. We're all going to be held accountable for what we spend it on. And um, it's not a free ticket, guys. A lot of people are under the misunderstanding that if you do like rent an apartment and you, you know, you just don't get a free get out of jail card and not have to pay your rent. I think this is just going to be the beginning of a really, really bad situation. So over the last couple nights, me and my girlfriend have been talking and uh, we have decided that we are going to take our stimulus checks or check, I should say, that we both just got today. Uh, we both do not qualify for the twelve hundred bucks due to our situations that we've been very, very blessed. And um, so what we're going to do is we decided that we are going to donate our money to the charities of our choice. I decided that I'm going to pick two. My choices are the Humane Society of Tampa Bay or the Humane Society of the United States. And my other choice is going to be the Shriners Hospital. The Shriners Hospital has done, uh, have, has reached out to me and my family when I was younger. Um, they helped my family, my brother, when he uh, snapped his growth plate in his uh, leg so I am very very thankful whenever I see the Shriners I always donate as much as I possibly can at least what's ever in my wallet they, they get doesn't make a difference if it's uh, 20 bucks or three or four hundred bucks if I see a Shriner I always donate whatever's in my wallet but that's not the point guys the point of this video is um, try to do something good it doesn't have to be necessarily a monetary uh, value like you know donating your stimulus check that was just something that I could do because I have not been affected by the uh, the uh, virus whatsoever I do have rental properties and yes um, I do have two tenants that have not paid all of it but I'm in a situation where again I am very blessed I am very thankful for what I have and um, but that's just another story the reason behind this video again, guys, I want you to do, I want you to think positive. Given that we are in the, the uh, VW community, we know it is very important to give back to our community, society, and we always do that. I think sometimes it can be overlooked in uh, situations like that, like this. And no way am I um, saying to put yourself, your family in any kind of harm's way, but do something good for society. You know, half of us don't even know our next door neighbors. So this is a time where we can go out and, you know, shake our, our hands of our neighbors, get to know our neighbors. Um, maybe you have a, a senior citizen living next to you. Uh, offer to cut their grass or, you know, just help, just do a, a, a pay it forward type moment. You will feel so much better about yourself and it's something that we do every day anyways. But I know we've been uh, consumed by this uh, virus 
and it's just time to give back guys we need to get back in our lives we need to get back to the daily grind i don't think we'll ever get back to how it used to be because this is truly has been an attack on the united states sort of like 911 you know life will go on but it's always going to be in the back of our mind what's next we are very thankful for what we are giving on a daily basis for the men and women who protect us, whether it's uh, locally with law enforcement, firefighters, first responders, or even the uh, members of the uh, military. There's been a lot of tragedy with the uh, service members. And even uh, in my situation, I have a uh, son-in-law who is a member of the Air Force who's stationed in Guam. And he has the... Uh, the, the uh, virus. He, he attracted the virus and unfortunately um, he spreads his family. The whole island's got it. So again guys, um, it's just the simple things that we can do to keep our keep our minds going, keep you know just keep just keep going forward. We are not a victim. We are not you know asking for handouts and I do not mean, mean that in any disrespect. For those of you who are in need, if you are in need, you are you definitely um, are and should get all the benefits that you are entitled to. But I, I just wanted to make this video, guys, so hopefully you'll be in a better mood. Um, maybe just take a step back and think about what's going on and get back to what we are doing on a daily basis that we already do. Again. We are the part of the VW community. We know, and what we do anyways on a daily basis is reach out to our community, whether it's car events, uh, charitable events. We already do it anyways. So what's stopping us now? Some of us are in lockdown situations, so we can't uh, do um, as much as we used to. Again, guys, I'm not telling you to go out and blow your checks whatsoever, but if you could just help somebody, you know, help a single mother in the grocery line, maybe put the groceries in her car. Or maybe, like I said, help a senior citizen put the groceries in her car. Just a smile on your face is such a reward. And so we do this anyways. So I hope you guys uh, are having a great day. For those of you who are affected financially, our prayers are out for you. Um, it's gonna end, guys. I mean, like I said, it's it's a uh, it's just a a roadblock in a way right now. But we will get past this. Right now in Tampa, Florida, it's where I'm at. Um, at nine o'clock to five o'clock in the morning, we are in a lockdown. We are in a curfew. So comment below on what you guys are, what your community is doing for your uh, your area. Are you on lockdown? Uh, we are allowed to move around as of right now if you are what's called an essential uh i guess an employee or essential uh member uh we do have that access for my girlfriend's work but um like i said i i just hope that this gets better and for those of you who are who, who have been affected it's just help is on the way guys it's not you are not a victim we are not leaving you behind uh, it's just going to take a couple minutes to uh, let the smoke clear. And um, for those of you who, again, who have not been affected, maybe this is a, learn a chance for you guys to uh, realize, hey, I got lucky on this one. I won't be lucky in the next one. We don't know what's going to happen next. So prepare, prepare, prepare. Whether it's uh, grab a couple canned goods when you go to the grocery store the next time or... Um, just something small, maybe a couple gallons of water here and there. Maybe save, you know, instead of going to Starbucks, take that money, toss it in the jar. Uh, whatever your comfort zone may be, protect yourself, take care of yourself first. Take care of your family first because others are not going to do it for you. So once you get your four corners taken care of, then it's time to look outside the box and take care of others. That's where I'm at right now. That's why I'm donating my check to uh, these charitable organizations. And if we get any more checks in the mail or whatever, I will be more than happy to disperse them um, 
as they should be, or maybe I might even pick up another different uh, charitable group. I am a very active member of the Humane Society of the uh, United States. For those of you who don't know, I do animal rescue programs up in the central Florida area. And um, like I said, I'm always giving to organizations and groups that I completely believe in. There are, there are numerous groups you could join or help. It doesn't have to necessarily be monetary. It could be uh, stuff like the Joshua House. Uh, it could be um, anything, Habitat for Humanity, or just even being there, just doing something. It makes you feel good. You give back to the community, and um, it keeps your mind off this current stuff. So let your fingers do the walking. If you are at home, bored, see what you guys can do. Um, you maybe even pick up a job if, if you're unemployed. Who knows? You know, the, 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 it's endless out there what you could possibly do. But this video is getting long, guys. I just want to say thank you guys for everything you've done for me, uh, just for being there, showing your support. Hopefully we can get through this, and um, we'll catch you on the next video, guys. Take care. God bless. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave a comment or don't. You know, that's just how it is. Um, I respect you guys' opinions. I respect anything, uh, your comments. So stay safe. Stay communicated. Comment below. I try to, I try to post daily on, on the uh, community section to keep you guys informed what's going on. So comment. Keep us informed. Keep others informed what's going on in your area, and we'll get through this, guys. God bless, and have a good day.